Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it though. Um, so these are the teak strips and each one goes down um, separately and you can see these are where the screw holes are and then they're capped on top. But each, well you can see it here, each of these screw holes can open up and let water in which, because it's screwed into the top layer of fibreglass, then lets the water right into the core of the deck. And then you end up with just really soggy plywood core in the middle of the deck and it just spreads and you end up with leaks down below that you don't know where they've come from but they will have come from these screw holes in some case. We did our first, well you can see we've done, we've recorked um, 10 years ago and we got another 10 years life out of the deck uh, but it came to the point where we had to do it again or replace the deck. <laughs> we opted to replace the deck because it had just gone too far. And can you remind me what you did when you replaced the deck? What was that process? Now uh, replacing the deck. So first off, the the um, teak had to come up, and that was with a fane tool and lots of cutting to sort of get the get the teak off because in some places it had been really well stuck down. Um, so once that was off, we were left with a sort of well, this sort of top layer of fiberglass um, surface. We then had to cut that up in panels. So this aft deck here took three panels to get the entire top layer off and we were left with quite smelly and stinky rotten plywood squares that are about that big probably. So some of them came up and they were right and the rest needed to be scraped up with a hoover or you know, just whatever to get these and it's squidgy, it was that way, it was squidgy. Um, not, not the nicest example of a deck to show you there. So then, so we had to let the deck dry out after that had gone on. So what you can see then, you can see the underside of the sandwich core. So what you can see if you take down the headlining in the boat, and um, that's a really thin layer. So we had taken out the top layer, which I didn't like doing because that's where a lot of the strength is. Um, and we were left with just that single inside layer. Um, so we had to clean that out as best as we could. So by removing that plywood and by angle grinding with a really coarse um, sandpaper on the angle grinder to get a really clean finish back. Now this section here probably took about two or three weeks to get to that point um, and then we had to let it dry because it was so, you know, all the glass was sodden. We left a um, probably about that long tab round so that we had a good surface to um, epoxy back to which meant we had to dig out underneath it and, um, and again wait for that to dry. Um, so after it was all dry we got this, um, this is uh, this blue section is what I'm looking at here, that's called, that's closed cell foam and that comes in huge big sheets um, and you've got different thicknesses right? and we epoxied that down and let it, let the epoxy come out through several holes um, put through vertically and you let that come out so you've got a good, really good bond. Again let that dry, smooth it off as best as you can with epoxy filler and then we put uh, four layers of the thickest biaxial um, epoxy glass on top of it um, until you get this sandwich again. So on this one um, this is the underneath, this is taken quite near the edge which is why we've got a bit of a messy finish down here um, but normally that's a the inside sandwich the fiberglass would probably be about that big and then we've got this blue closed cell frame and then we've got the new um, epoxy layers on top of that. So that's what we <laughs> that's what you can see here. Um, we decided to finish the deck with non-slip. It's not perfect as you can see and it needs a bit of a clean. Um, but we could also have put um, the fake teak on. Um, we might do that at a later date but <laughs> This is what uh, we can afford at the moment, but we're pretty happy with it. We're pretty happy with it. It's a smooth finish, considering it was done by us. <laughs>